All right, welcome back. Uh, I don't know what to call you guys in this one. You know, in Subnautica, it's divers, anti-unitologists, maybe a new unitologists, engineers. I don't know what to call you guys. I I'll figure it out. So this is a retake. Um, my data actually got corrupted. And I have to actually do a redo of this episode. Basically, I could convert the file into an MP4. So, time for a redo. Recorded message playback. Hey, look, I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. <sighs> Shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. When are you coming home? Soon. Okay. I love you, Dad. Who wants to play soldiers? You gave him a soldier. John, he idolizes you. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. You got that? I gotta go. Love you. The one thing I don't like about John Carver over here is I have trouble differentiating his voice from Isaac's. Sometimes I think they're the same person. And since he's such a jerk... Here, have some paperwork. How about this? Think you could just be a jerk? That's right, you're, you're gonna have a hard time finding all your... Hard written paperwork. Uh, how about this? Need a drink? How about that? How, oh, was this a a paper plate? Science fiction paper plate. There you go. Oh, that'll show you to mess with me. Oh, and look at this. I don't know how many years in the future we are, but we still haven't changed the design of orange juice. There we are on the Eudora, which is the name of the ship here. Fifteen days ago, Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret to stopping this marker epidemic, but we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. So now you know, based on the language, that Ellie is working with the Earth government. Seems like directly, since. They're calling her an agent. I already checked down here in the first playthrough, so I'm not going to go over down there. I mean, I guess I'll show you what the warp drive looks like. So here is our shock drive. And now if we do go down a little bit, we can see that it's a different color going. So when we're approaching, it's um, blue. But in the direction that we're leaving, in the direction we're going, it's pink. Interesting. And, uh, oh yeah, for to get the vocabulary back, uh, shocking is the term for the faster than light travel. So when you come out of shock space, that's what they mean. Seconds to target. Standing by to D shot. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. D shocking in five, four, three, two, one. The hell is that? Moon. What's left of one? Rosen! I see it! Why, why are they just standing up? Christ, this place is a junkyard. It's more like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. Are you serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, right, sir. Those lights, are they beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. I can't. why I was saying, 
Why are they standing up? Suddenly, it doesn't involve shooting something, and Isaac is in charge now. Our space mines seem to be, uh, having good effect on the ship. And now we're walking sideways on... on the side of the ship. We can even see the, like, the space mines swishing around that side. I, I don't get why they weren't strapped down or anything. Like even even in our modern day outfit or in our modern day planes, they they expect you to stay seated and buckled up. And here is our AVA suit, which he puts on very easily. It seems really easy to get that. I mean, like obviously, probably wouldn't want to go through the time of showing and putting it on, but still. Need the helmet, of course, which is outside in the vacuum, and now we can breathe. This thing comes with a ton of oxygen. 240 seconds. I'm gonna try to free it from out here. We've got so much time that I don't mind breaking some of these open. Like I said, this thing comes with like 200 seconds of time. Okay. 240 seconds. Rosen, Mark, brace yourselves. Once I release the clamps, it's gonna blow us clear of the Adora. Everyone find something to hang on to. All right. Uh, this is kind of like an escape pod, or it's just the, the, the crew is inside there, basically. Oh, shit! And I, I don't know why it just ejects like this. I don't know if it's got, like, thrusters or something. And now we gotta chase after it Iron Man style. Man, so this mechanic is returning from... I can't slow it down! Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa! Mine! Mine! Except now we can shoot. I don't, actually, maybe we could... I can't remember if we were able to shoot in Dead Space 2. Whoa! whoa getting a little close to the there. where are you? I'm coming! Just hang on! Whoa! Oh, there's the box on the right! <laughs> Didn't see that one. My body is blocking it. Hey, watch it! Watch it! I can't see around it! Then punch through it! Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy. I got it! I got it! Dad is under control! I'm oh the man. Thunder. That thing yanked the crap out it's of his so shoulder. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. There we go. Jesus. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. Feeling a little more like dead space now that we are actually in space. Now this is technically the next chapter, but it's such a short one that we're going to go ahead and do a second chapter. Let's take a look at our environment though. Now, one of the things you'll notice in Dead Space 3, a new mechanic, is we have a much more free ability to explore in space. They kind of introduced that in Dead Space 2 a little bit. Pretty cool surface of the planet. There's the moon in orbit of the planet and this giant graveyard. 
Here is the ship that we were landing on, the CMS Roanoke. Correct our tilt. I've seen a lot of ships, but never anything like these. Yeah, that's because the Sovereign Colonies were sore losers. When they lost the Secession War to EarthGov, they scuttled their entire fleet. Surprised any survived. What were they doing this far from home anyway? If this is where Ellie went, you can bet it had something to do with the markers. Oh, God, it looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. So this thing here is oxygen. Because we can explore more in free space, we have the ability to uh, find oxygen a bit more in, in more places than simply stations. Which, like I said, is another advancement in the game. All right, let's reload all our weapons. Alright, so these doors you actually have to open up with your Kinesis module. Well, we've got air. <laughs> and dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. I mean, now that we're on a ship, all is lost. Yeah, that's a good sign. I'm sure this ship is uninhabited and basically safe. Orange means it's locked. Okay, let's crank this thing. It's getting hard to breathe. How much longer? Yeah, we're working as fast as we can. Mark's really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Shit. Hey, Isaac, okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. All right, there, now get in here. Give me a hand. Looks like the crew isn't doing too good. Maybe they should have uh, fastened their seat belts. Heavy standard frame. So that's a weapon component. So one of the things that's different in this game, we're going to get to see it in this episode, is you're able to build your own custom weapons, which is probably my favorite thing about uh, State DK3, Dead Space 3. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen in lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. Hey, don't stray too far. That's an order. And the thing is, like, Dead Space 3 could have been a really good evolution of the game. It's just... There were a few parts that just fell short. So we found a Tesla cord. That's another component to a gun. Uh, the way the guns work is, basically every weapon in the game can be split into its two individual parts. It's, uh... Let me heal myself. It's primary weapon and secondary weapon. So what you can do in this game is basically split them and make, the, make your own combinations of weapons. So you could have, like, a plasma gun combined with, like, a machine gun or something like that. And as long as it just it's just based on the size, so... Like, this weapon here, you can see Isaac is holding with one hand. One-handed weapon we tool... One-handed weapons can combine with any other one-handed weapon. Two-handed weapons combine with any two-handed weapon. There may be some universal ones as well. Human remains. Refrigerated. Also a good sign. I'm sure nothing will ever jump out of those at any point in the game.
dead end. Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. Oh, can we cut through it? No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it up. Take ourselves a look in this area. Oh, this... An upgrade ship. Plus one reload. Yeah, so they did away with... Uh, they did away with the system... Of power nodes, I believe. So let's get this battery in here. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? With all the parts lying around here, I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, yeah, smart thinking. Oh, yeah, real smart. This guy. You get the impression that this Captain Nolan guy doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, we got a Tesla core, standard frame, reload, and the heavy planet. That's a DLC item. The first thing I want to do, let's, I'll skip, I can, uh, yeah, I'll skip the tutorial. I can show you how to do this since I played it already, or this chapter at least. So I'm going to dismantle this weapon because it's a DLC bonus and we don't want to do use DLC weapons. Let's go ahead and store our some stuff. I, I'd say that's probably good enough, half of our inventory. So here we can build. So they, I think they got rid of money. And so now you build with various resources. So for example, to build a med pack, we need somatic gel. Ammo clips are made out of scrap metal. Uh, medium med packs are made out of basically twice as much somatic gel and so forth. Tungsten torque bar, I believe this is the replacement for power nodes in the usage of o opening up a locked door. So we're going to want to make sure we've got a few of these on hand. And stasis pack, they need transducers in order to create. But So this is how you make your new items. Over here we've got weapon upgrades. So this is the chip system. Three, two of them are available. And so right over here, that one thing that I picked up, the faster reload rate... I could install this here if I wanted to, which, I mean, why not? I'll, I'll put it. So now we've customized the weapon so that it reloads a little bit quicker. And that's what I mean by the power node system is gone. Now, I can basically further expand this weapon, but I need to spend, in this case, 20 tungsten in order to reveal this circuit so I can customize the weapon further. And the same applies to this one. This one's even less... This Oh, this one doesn't have a bottom tool. That might be the issue. I, actually, I'm not sure what the issue is there. So over here we have blueprints. This might seem really confusing, but these are basically just all the different combinations of different tools. And then they had to give them a name. Uh, you know, rather than just like... Like this one, this weapon's called Basic Line Gun because it's just the classic line gun. There's nothing... There's nothing particularly different about it these are none of these are like special you could build these by hand if you wanted to they're just there in the event you get kind of like oh i don't know what to do so let's go ahead and build a weapon we're going to use a compact frame see here here is an elite compact frame for one-handed weapons standard heavy frame a heavy a standard heavy frame for two-handed weapons that's what we let's build this one here also, so here's where you can build tools. Tool is just another word for weapon. The plasma core creates a type of weapon. The telemetry spike is, uh, I believe this creates the javelin. You've got the Tesla core. And they all they all do different things. Like the military engine, this makes like different types of like guns. But uh, let's go ahead and plug in probably, let's plug in the Tesla core up top, I guess. And so this is created, um... The... Oh, oh, check this out. So let's put the rotator cuff module on. Okay, okay, let me go back. So the top one is the line gun. That's what the Tesla core created. The bottom one, though, is the... we're going to put the rotator cuff on. And we'll replace that weapon. So check this out. Oh, man. You know, this is... you can make some kind of silly weapons, and I would definitely describe this as a pretty silly... a silly customization we've created. So... Over here, we've got your typical plasma gun, plasma cutter, you know. The primary ability, you know, shoots the plasma shot, and then the secondary ability changes the alignment of the weapon. Well, they, we have the line gun here, and the secondary, the rotator cuff, gives us basically, we can make the 
super plasma cutter. We're not, we're not going to do that, though. I just wanted to give you an example of that. So let's go and replace the rotator cuff. And uh, here we go. Let's replace it with the plasma core. A cutting tool that fires jets of ionized plasma fuel. Sure. We also have tips. Now, what the tips do is... They modify the weapon a second time. And so this allows us, to, basically, to further differentiate the weapons. It, it, if it's a bit confusing right now, don't, don't worry. It, it, it is a bit confusing. We can also add attachments, a stasis support. Uh, I think this is for multiplayer. Stasis packs consumed by self also recharge. Yeah, that, that's for... What do you call it? That, that's for co-op. Okay. We now have this weapon, and we've cleaned up our inventory. Let's see what we've built. So, the top weapon is the plasma cut, or the line gun. The bottom weapon is the force gun, which is pretty handy. That's actually a really good combo right off the bat. Because now we can push enemies away, and then we can blast them with the uh, the line gun. And all the weapon ammo types are universal now. There's no specific ammo anymore, which is probably a good thing because... It would get really confusing if you had to... It would just discourage you from trying different weapons out, so... I, I'm not opposed to there being a single universal ammo type. So if you want me to build a weapon, let me know and I'll, I'll try it out. What I'll probably do is I'll keep at least one weapon that I'm very confident is really good. And uh, that way, you know, if the weapons that you guys choose wind up being like a piece of garbage, then uh, I'll at least have one good weapon. But yeah, I'll, I'll start building different weapons and whatnot. Now, in this game, the upgrades are really important. Watch how, fa how, watch how slow this thing shoots. I'm going to shoot as fast as possible. Yeah, that's the firing rate of this weapon, which obviously is uh, not going to cut it. That's, we definitely need to upgrade this weapon's firing speed. So this says quarantine, which probably a great idea to open this door. Blood on the walls. Great sign. I'm sure nothing is going to go wrong. Skittering noises? Probably just cockroaches. Hey, it's a cockroach! A really... dusty cockroach. It shoots so slowly! I'd love to point out that this weapon shoots really slowly. Oh, he wasn't dead! Ah, oh, I can't shoot! It's too slow! Hey guys, we're in trouble! What is it? What's going on? I just got jumped by what's left of the crew. What? No one has survived out here that long. They didn't survive. They got turned into those... Things. What? Okay. What do we do? You keep your weapon ready and stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, shoot for the limbs. You got that? I said you got yeah, that! Yeah, okay, okay! I probably just started mailing the crap out of there, that probably, or I could have switched to my other weapon, but th that just demonstrates that this weapon absolutely needs... <laughs> absolutely needs uh, a firing rate upgrade. 
get these things out of the way. So these necromorphs seem to be the dusty necromorphs, so I'm just going to call them Dusty. That's going to be their nickname. And you can see them hanging from the ceiling like that. Let's see how the, uh, the plasma cutter does on them. One shot will wake them up. Ooh, he's fast. And by fast, I mean the opposite of slow. Okay, so one thing I've noticed about Dead Space 3... These enemies are way faster and way more aggressive than they were in either of the past two games. Like, they buffed up their aggression in Dead Space 2. The slashers are faster. Now they've done it even f more in this one. They're super aggressive. Like, you saw Fantasy started charging at me like a maniac. Semiconductor, so those are like raw materials that we need to build stuff. Okay, let's see. Artifact discovered. From Admiral Marjorie Graves to CMS Roanoke All Hands. I'd like to thank each and every crew member for taking part in this historic expedition. Never has there been a more worthy cause nor more dire circumstance than those we face today. While most of you aren't clear to view the full details of the mission, know this. Our hopes and dreams for a future are at stake. The fate of the colonies rests in your capable hands. Which tells me that this is probably a briefing room. Like, all these people here, yeah, there's like a, a TV screen there, so this is a briefing room. We got some more dusties. I think I will just wake them up. Shoot from a distance. This weapon shoots slowly. So I believe the way these, like, dusty slashers work is, uh... I think they're supposed to be, like, asleep. They're like hibernating, which is why they're on the rooftops. And I think the whole concept is that you're supposed to be able to sneak by them. And it's supposed to be a bad thing if you wake them up, but I'm like, I don't know. Why don't I just kill them, to be honest? I knew one of them was going to jump out of me, since this is a retake, but I couldn't remember exactly where. Another upgrade ship. Rate of fire. Oh god, do we need that. Plus one is probably not going to cut it, though. Text log. Titled SCAF. I think SCAFs is Sovereign Colonies Armed Forces. That's what I'm going to guess the AF stands for. So, uh, to the CMS, CMS Roanoke, notice to all officers effective immediately, Admiral Marjorie Graves is confined to quarters until further notice. Post a guard around the clock to monitor her activities. Under no circumstances is anyone to talk to her. Fleet Command now rests with me. Reroute all requests through planetside channels. Major General Spencer Mahad. I'm pretty sure that was the guy in the cutscene. The guy who's like, oh, you like your family, son? Fire! Fire! I 
Nathan, where the hell are you? Almost to the crossover tube. Nathan, keep coming! Sir, we're running low on ammo! Make a barricade. Just keep them out a little longer. Okay, we have entered into a zero gravity area. Okay, I need to find out what button allows me to rise. Is there a button that lets me rise? I thought there was a way to, like, go directly upwards. It's evil dog face! Because that definitely doesn't look like a baby. Of course, appearing in a zero-gravity environment as per normal. As long as they're downwards like that, I should be able- nope, never mind. Getting a good angle on them is kind of a pain. I know there's one more. I, I saw one of them shoot at me from a distance. Yep. Got one of them, but the bodies are all crowding the area. Got him. Evil dog face, not too big of a deal when they're coming head to head, but you know, that, that's just kind of an introduction to them. I'm sure they will find much more annoying ways to attack me. I guess they thought I would use stasis there. This thing here it kind of reminds me of a TIE Fighter's cockpit. The text log. Attention, General S. Mahad from Captain A. Belknap. My apologies for the excessive noise, sir, but there's not much I can do short of sedating the entire K-9 unit. So, yeah, they're definitely dogs. The dogs began acting up the moment we went into orbit. Several have tried to claw their way out of their cages, ripping their paws apart in the process. I'd like to request sending them down to the planet sooner rather than later. It will be good for them to stretch their legs. Dogs are a lot like people, and being cooped up for so long would make anyone stir-crazy. I don't know if it would make them grow tentacles and start trying to shoot people, though. I wonder why they switched off of evil babies, you know, was it too edgy? They're like, oh my god, think of the children turning babies, you're shooting babies. Not sure if that was what was going on, but it, it's an interesting design choice. Norton, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above me, and it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. All right, what about you? Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. Now, if you've been following my adventures in Dead Space, you already can tell this is a battle area. The way it loops around like this, classic Dead Space battle type of area. Oh, can I get away with charging it? Oh, I can't get past them. I need to get some space. Does he... Can I hear his voice? 
Like his human voice a little bit? Yeah, I thought I heard a voice. Oh, I forgot about the evil baby. Or evil doggy. Yep. Line gun still laying out the knock. Awkward to use, though, with the low fire rate. Gonna need to upgrade it for it to really be useful. Okay, let's get the second one online. That was definitely not the ship. Yeah, I guess we're clear. This weapon's gonna be really good once we get a few upgrades in it. Fighting again? Yep. I hear somebody. It's like, look like you tripped. That's what I hate about these areas where you can get attacked from both directions. Oh, wait, wait, that's the item. Give me that. Okay. I think it was just two of them. Let's move on. Wait, is this the right way? No, no, I gotta push the button. Oh, it looks like it's a real battle now. Hey, hey, we have power. The crossover just opened up. You're welcome. Rose and Lock, you stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the Spire. Got oh, it. he got me even while I was running. The strobing lights are not helping. Okay. Okay, we got rid of I think the area is finally clear. And it uh, looks like we're taking this elevator. Okay, anytime elevator. Anytime. One of the things we could do is we could take away the uh, the rotating ability on this plasma cutter and give it a second weapon. I think the weapons look really cool in this. I like the way they like charge up in the back. It just makes them look like, you know, like really high powered. Like you could even see a little bit of a mirage, like probably like a heat or something in the back. Just just makes it really seem like it's high powered weaponry. General Versantos, our little lady with a big brain. If it's true you can decipher the Marcus script, this mission might still have a chance. Isaac, thank you for coming. Like I had a choice. I know, I'm sorry, but I have so much to tell you. Oh, all right, come on, we have to get, get out of here now. No, not yet. Isaac, we need to stop the marker. The trail ends at the Admiral's quarters. She'd written Marcus Crawl all over the walls. The answers are in there. I know it. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Yeah, well, then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving now. I got Buckle, you get Santos. Let's go. Oh. Go on. Take care of your crew. They need you more than I do. 
Whoa. A little bit of passive aggression there. Ellie taking the double take. What did he mean by that? Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, we've skipped from chapter two to four. That's what I meant by uh, we're going to do an extra chapter because, you know, it was like 10 minutes to do that little like exiting the ship thing. I'm not going to grab any of this stuff, though. I'm just going to like end it here and save. So, yep. The plot is thickened. Uh, not only does Isaac lose Ellie, he lost it to this, like, Nolan goober. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments section. If there's a certain weapon you want me to build... Remember, it's very early in the game, and I don't have a lot of weapon options, but we can make some really dumb weapons if you want. Like, I could make a flamethrower, nitrogen thrower, so one of them is burning and the other one is freezing, you know, which, what's going to happen first? Are they going to burn to death or freeze to death? I'm pretty sure I could make a weapon really stupid like that. It's, it's really, you know, as I get more stuff, let me know and I will make dumb weapons. Who knows? Sometimes dumb weapons wind up being a good idea. This is the best. And because I don't have to worry about different ammo types, I can show you so many more of the dead space weaponry than I could in the previous two games because I didn't want to like stockpile one type of ammo and then suddenly need to shift to like a different kind of ammo. At any rate, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Hopefully the video doesn't get corrupted and we can continue on from here, but hey, that is that. Wait, I, but whatever, subscribe and do the liking and the stuff like that. And remember that you don't have to be good to get good.